So anyway, so let's go back to sort of like, this is my start of like how like I grew up loving Transformers. In 1984, that's obviously the year Transformers came out. This isn't about George Orwell, this is about me living on a farm. And um, those are my homies. Uh, the goat bots. <clears throat> so it tra I didn't know Transformers existed at this point right now, so it was like, it was on, it was on a farm. We just had animals and stuff. So, um, so there's more animals. Uh, that's uh, Goose Ferno, Poltron, and Ultra Ch Chickness. So, so anyway, those are my homies. Those are who I was you know, getting along with on the farm. Uh, so it was kind of a strange thing. Um, after, in 1984, my parents just like decided we were gonna sell absolutely everything we owned. Like, all my toys, everything, just everything I could fit into a suitcase. And we moved to LA for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Decided we didn't like it, and then we, we came back after two weeks. And uh, we lived with my uncle. And uh, so until we found like, a place to live in, we used to stay with my uncle, who uh, was you know, the father of my favorite cousin, Stephen. And um, he took us out to buy our first Transformer. It was my first Transformer. Steven already had like Soundwave and a couple of other guys. He was, he was cool. He was a cool kid. But I was introduced to Transformers for the first time. Uh, same thing with the comic book, like the comic book. You know, the first time I saw that, Bill Sankovich, you know, like limited edition, um, number one issue, I was like hooked. I was like, what is this? This is amazing. So, so if Windcharger was my very, very first Transformer, and like it's been my hobby ever since. You know, I, obviously you all have the same hobby. So uh, I still have this, this car to this day. This one's just an internet wind charge. It's not my inner, but mine has a pre-rub. Meh. <laughs> so, uh, so my cousin Steven, this is my cousin Steven. Uh, we collected Transformers together. And uh, unfortunately, Steven passed away. Um, Self-inflicted death. And, uh, you know, that, that's always stayed with me. And because I have that... Um, that connection with him, I've been keeping his memory alive uh, forever since since he's been passed uh, by collecting Transformers, and I have uh, I've got about over four thousand Transformers now. So um, this isn't four thousand Transformers; it's probably more like six. Um, it's funny that somebody mentioned Six Train before because I kind of put this up there because I thought, how bizarre is it to be a train? Transformer, it's like, you better not screw shit up on this track, because if you do, <laughs> you're in trouble. So anyway, I, this is like one of the things I have in my collection, like the original boxed editions of like Raiden and stuff like that. But anyway, I have like 4,000 plus Transformers, and I store them all month after month. I can't even play with them. So I, I move around a lot, so I have to like just keep storing them. So, um, but the cool thing about it is that they all come with instructions. And for me, I think instructions are crap. I don't, <laughs> I don't look at them at all. It's a big challenge for me just to go through all of them, transform it. It's a puzzle, right? Transform it, 